Hello everyone, I am Nirupama, an artist of one stroke painting. Today I am going to teach you a few more strokes for the leaves and for the petal. From that stroke we will make a composition on the paper and finally we will do painting on this wooden bowl. Okay, are you ready? Alright, give me a minute, I will change the direction of my camera. Welcome back, I am here. I hope you can see my table and uh, let's go what material today we need it for our work. We need a paper so that we can practice our strokes on the paper. You can take any paper, white color paper, A4 printing paper is also fine. We need acrylic paints. I am going to use camel artistic acrylic paints today. Okay. And we need flat brush. This is number 8 flat brush from Fine Art Company. And one thin brush. This is a thin brush from Plaid Company. From the Donna Dewberry's Company. And uh, you can use any 0 or 1 number brush. We need a water bowl. A small water bowl then we need a plate to mix our color okay you can use any plain plate which can be melamine or steel okay which is easily available for you and of course I prefer to use which you can wash it and reuse it again okay I don't prefer any disposable plate because it increase the waste so let's start taking colors. So this is the plate. I'll show you how I take the color and load my brush. Okay. At the same time, we need a rough cloth also. Okay. So that we can wipe our brush after washing. So I'm taking this olive green. Then I'm taking Naples yellow you any yellow color is fine and any green is fine okay if you want a dark green then take olive green or sap green okay then little white color so last time if you remember I showed you how to load your brush with two colors today I'm going to show you two colors as well as three colors okay um, see one stroke painting is a beautiful art many of you know that it's a beautiful art while doing I will show you why we say one stroke painting to this art okay so now this is a flat brush number eight flat brush I took it and first I dip it into the water never use the dry, dry brush always dip it into the water take out the extra water and wipe it gently with the cloth you have okay use any waste cloth the soft cotton cloth we need it if you see that this is the handle and this is the bristles so for the bristles whatever the straight line you can see it's called the chisel edge there are two ends for this chisel edge left and right so see how I load the brush the one end goes into the dark color which is olive green and the other one goes into yellow color. Did you see that? How I load my brush? Okay, the same way you load. Doesn't matter which size brush you have. Okay, you can use number 10, number 6, number 7, 8, any number is fine. Okay, once you load your brush, keep it on the plate which you have. I hope you can see pull it towards you three to four times away from you three to four times when you go away make sure your darker part is on the dark side okay in case it goes like this then you cannot see the proper shading if that accident happen I will prefer you to go wash your brush come back and start all over again okay and see this process is called blending of colors now I took two colors right 
I need to fill up almost three fourth of these bristles with the color. So now the third time I will load my brush and bring it towards me, away from me. And these colors are water soluble. So I need water drops. So I took one water drop here. Whenever I think the brush is not moving nicely, very softly, I will just touch the chisel edge to the water droplet and blend it again. Okay, now you saw how it blend and when you blend make sure you give a gentle pressure to the brush so that the color goes on the spread to the bristle which we need it for one stroke painting. Here I will show you a leaf stroke. Okay, first I am going to show you on this side. If I do this side, my hand might come in the middle. So, let's see. See, make a line. Now, my brush is little dry. So, what I will do? I will take little color. Touch the water droplet. And go back to my paper. Make a straight line. Give little pressure. The pressure only this much. Can you see? Yes, very little pressure you give. With the pressure, turn your brush towards the right and then go up. I will show you a couple of times so that you can practice with me. Make a line. Okay, this is for all the beginners. Okay, once you are master, you practice it a lot and you get the stroke. You don't have to make the line. But in the beginning, yes, so that you know from where we are starting. Keep your chisel edge over there. Give little pressure, this much. With that constant pressure, turn your brush towards right and then go up. When you go up, make sure your upper bristles are coming first okay i'll show you sometime it is little tricky but if you remember what i am saying and go accordingly it's not see when this part come you have to just go straight straight so what happened here the upper bristles are going first and then the down bristles that's why there is a thin line form okay i'll show you again make a line anywhere you can make a line give a little pressure turn your brush with a pressure and then go up okay without line once you practice you can just go like this here any direction if you want your leaf to be other direction turn your paper and go like this all right anywhere you can go the best part of acrylic paint is that you can paint it over again and again okay so in case you think the stroke is not correct then you can do it again see did you get at why it's called one stroke painting in one single stroke we make a multiple shades into these leaves that's why it's called one stroke painting mrs donna dewberry invented this beautiful art and uh, i really really love it and i'm pretty sure you also like it okay so do keep practicing all the time and now we are done with these short leaves. These are very small tiny leaves. If you learn this is called the slider stroke. Okay that is a very important stroke in one stroke painting. I will show you one more time. Make a line. Give little pressure. Turn your brush towards right and then go up. Okay this is the slider stroke. You can use this stroke for the leaves as well as for few petals also so do practice this stroke and another one stroke i am going to teach you i'll show you how to make a bigger size of leaf with a shell stroke 
okay that is little new for you but i'll show you before that what i will do i will show you how we make that strokes on the straight line what you can do before you go make two lines okay can you see that make two lines and from this line go up little gently and just move your fingers up and down up and down and join the other line did you see that how the stroke forms there are multiple shades form in this stroke that is called the shale stroke okay i'll show you again make two lines okay from left go up down up and down just both the fingers are moving okay and that is called the shale stroke now i'm going to load my brush and i'll show you how we make the leaf out of it okay how we use this stroke in a bigger size leaf here i have enough color now little water and now what you do you make a v okay make a v here okay can you see that and from this i'm going to move my paper from here go we finish one side let's load our brush one more time and finish the other side okay this is called a shell stroke leaf now here if you want you can move again or you can move any you know however you are comfortable you can do that one okay so let's do from here okay this is called a shell stroke and from out to in make a thinner line here theek okay? hai one more time i hope you got it but i'll i'm going to show you one more time i hope you can see my plate also how i load my brush and how i blend it together those this part are also very important but i think you guys are watching my video from the beginning so you must be doing it correctly whoever are trying it first time just see the you know how the way i am doing you can practice the same way it's not hard okay you can do it now if you see that the one half part is done i'm going to move my paper again and i'm going to start it and join the other side did you see that it's a beautiful leaf with a shell stroke and it's ready from out you can use the thinner brush also from out to in come it okay now what i will do i am going to do the same thing on a wooden bowl okay this is the wooden bowl i am going to paint on it okay so what i will do i will use this both the strokes on this bowl first so what uh, see this is the bowl if you can see it's little shiny okay so i'm going to use a paper so that we can rub it and make this surface little rough okay i'm going to use this sanding paper okay and i'm going to sand it little bit okay let me move this one and just sand very gently so that whatever the shiny coat is there it will come out and we can paint on it nicely okay so this is the way we have to scrub it sand it from inside and outside so i have this which is ready which save our time also so here i'm going to use first a shale stroke leaves okay we practice those leaves on the paper first now i'm going to do it on the bowl okay can you see these all right 
so let's start from here just make few leaves here I hope you are doing with me and uh, that's why the video I am making so that you can watch it again and again and if you like this if you think this is very useful please share this video with your friends so your friends can also learn these strokes okay and this is very easy once you learn the strokes then you can apply it on any base that's the base part of it okay couple of leaves we will do it okay so this is the outer side of this bowl I'm going to go little inside also okay I'm going to make few leaves inside so let's do it okay I hope you can see it it's little odd but yes I think you can watch it also okay. little difficult to do inside okay few more As it's a deep surface, it's not that easy to do it. But once you know how to do these strokes, if you practice it on the paper, then yes, it's you can also do this. Okay. As our brush is little flat, there are there might be some gaps also. Okay, we can fill it. So these are the two big leaves I am done with it and what I will do I will add few slider stroke here do you see that few slider stroke just add it and after that we are going to learn a stroke for the petals for the flower so we will add our flowers on it later okay So the inside part is done. Let me add few slider stroke outside also. Yes. I hope you can see it. Just few more. How many you want? How much you want to make this bowl decorate you want to decorate you can add that much leaves and strokes and the flowers I'm going to do it on one side you can do all over also okay now okay so this is almost done with the leaves okay let me do last here and that's it okay so I'm done with the leaves inside and outside so what we will do we will practice some strokes for the petals so let me take let me wash the brush quickly and take few colors for the petal. So for the petal I am going to use cobalt teal. It's a, you can say it's a light blue and the dark blue. Okay. This, this is cobalt teal and this is petalo blue. If you don't have this color you can use any dark and any light color like yellow orange. You can use yellow and the orange combination. 
you can use pink and red anything you can use i'm going to take a little white also and i'll show you how we mix that colors this is a very easy stroke okay what i will do i will just repeat our teardrop stroke very quickly and i'll show you how that teardrop stroke we are going to turn into the other stroke so you know if you see that it is number 8 brush one corner i repeat into the darker color and the other into the lighter shade i keep it here blend it together three four times and three four times away three four times towards me give little pressure okay so that the color moves forward because we want our bristle three fourth bristle to cover with a color okay then only the complete stroke you can do it if there is no enough color in the brush sometime at the end of the stroke you can see the white patches okay so take enough color mostly in the beginning once you wash your brush you need to dip your brush three times into the color that means you have to load your brush three times and then your brush is ready if you see that i took the two color and if i want this little lighter color i will just dip into the white and blend it again so this is i showed you how to load your brush with a third color also okay now i need little water here and then i will go for the tear drop stroke okay make a v which i showed you last time most of the time i teach this because it's a beginning stroke keep your chisel edge on the left line go little further move your brush and join the other line did you see that i'll show you again make a v of course this is for the beginning it is very useful if you make a v so that you know from where to start and where to go so start from the left keep your chisel edge go little further with a pressure turn your brush and join the other line so this is the tear drop stroke one more last time okay i need some color so i am going to load my brush one more time and i'll show you okay okay make a v keep your chisel edge on the left go little further with a nice turn and a pressure join the other line so this is a tear drop stroke which everyone should learn it because once you know this one you can make multiple petals using the tear drop stroke with a little movements okay i will show you a easy this one we learned last time so here i will show you today's petal how what is we are going to learn is same thing you make a v start from left go little further and then come back did you see that there are few movements i did with my finger little zigzag okay make a v from left go up again up come down and join the line got it everyone got it okay so what i will do i will show you how we can make the flower with it you can make a small flower also a bird also or the open flower half closed flower you know whatever is possible we have a wooden bowl which have a very little space so let's see what we can do over there but here once you know how to do it you don't have to make the v but in the beginning yes you should do it okay go for the another petal if you see that i'm trying to make the flower okay you can make a complete flower with a five or six petals also and you can make the half also 
okay that also i will show you how to do it so if you see that a complete flower is done here you can use the lighter shade outside also anything which is suitable which you like okay it's your choice and i will show you how to overlap two petals like half close flower okay here i will use the lighter shade out did you see that i'll show you closely okay here now once it dry we can go for the another petal you can make a v here inside and then draw the another petal you can see they are overlapping to each other okay it's an open one it's not a complete flower but you can add these in your composition so one is this one is this i will show you how to the how to draw the half open also okay see if you like this video and if you think this is useful for you do subscribe my channel and share this video to all your friends who want to learn this art okay it's a beautiful art once you know it you can paint on any base okay i'll give you that idea while talking so if you see that the three are there and one i'm going to overlap over there so that it's a again a flower which is not completely open isn't it beautiful so you can make multiple petals you if you want one is one is like for the bird you can make a two okay which is just opening you can make half open also and the complete open also so what we will do we will go on this wooden bowl and i will add few petals over here so that so that our bowl colors painting will be over so let's start okay let me do this one okay so from here just go if you want you can use the you can make a complete open flower also okay it's up to you what you want to do and it depends how much place you have for there okay if you have a very small place it's better not to make so many petals for the flower okay 2 4 3 is also enough so one i did it what i will do i'll make this complete open oh sorry this is a complete open flower yeah few birds i will add here and you know what you can use any combination for these flowers okay whichever you like it so with the same stroke you can make multiple flowers multiple combination depends on what base color is okay so if you see that the outer cover i paint the flowers let's go inside also It's little difficult, but I'm going to make a single birds here because those are the possibilities to do it inside. Then, okay. Now I will go. Okay. 
मोर हियर ओके सो इन साइड इफ यू सी एवरीथिंग इज डन आउटसाइड डन लेट मी यूज द थीनर ब्रश टू मेक फ्यू लाइन्स ओवर देयर आई शो यू हाउ टू डू दैट दिस इज अ स्क्रिप्ट लाइनर which i showed you in the beginning it's a script liner from plaid company plaid which is number 2 and this is the donna duberry's production you can get it on amazon or you can use any zero or one number brush a thinner brush we want okay here now i'm going to add few lines for the leaves so I'm going to use little water, okay, and make the thinner line in each and every leaf. Let them join together. I hope you can see it. Okay, pull few lines over there. so that the composition look beautiful okay now isn't it a beautiful thing to paint what we have it at home you can find any base even though the bottles you can do bottles wooden plates if you want to do on the wood many things are available in the market wooden plate when a bowl when a glass anything you can do it okay okay if you see that it's done now i'm going to pull few lines with a flower also here i want them to join together so that it looks a beautiful composition composition the bowl is deep so sometime you might miss what i am doing it but i think you got an idea what i am doing all right so it's done let me go here now you can see clear what i was doing inside there so just go around this petal okay and now is this is a flower right so let me use the scruffy brush or any any old brush also you can take it number 2 number 3 brush this is a called scruffy brush from plaid the little part of it in a green and then yellow and if you see that i am just dabbing it okay once i am done it's a beautiful middle part of the flower form here did you see that how beautiful it is you can if you want you can add little white if you want it to be little more brighter add white Okay that's it you can use this scruffy brush for the full flower with the all petals here uh i hope you all enjoyed this session and if, you know what if you have any queries please write me here and do share my video and i will show you here my instagram is one stroke underscore neeru's world okay please follow me there one stroke underscore neeru's world and my youtube which you are watching is neeru's world of art okay so you can send you can dm me you can message me on my insta as well as you can comment under the video if you have any queries and um, i will answer it 
whenever i you know it's possible i'll surely answer it you can connect me on insta so that you can get a quick answer and i hope you like the today's session we learn the strokes here you which you can see it okay this is a slider stroke this is a shell stroke and first i make the teardrop stroke and from that with a little movements we make the petal stroke also and we make a beautiful flowers with it okay i would like to see your work also if you are doing with me if you are learning through this youtube uh, channel so please share your work dm me on my insta i would love to see that and i will post it on my stories also so thank you everyone for joining me today and wait for new more sessions to come so that there i will teach you other strokes also and other base which you can use it probably the glass metal anything okay good day and thank you for joining me and stay with me follow me and subscribe the channel if you like it thank you so much